Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft is busy testing a couple of new features in Edge, and that's in Edge Canary, which is the latest preview version. So these are new features, and I thought just to do a quick collation of a couple of new features that could possibly roll out to up-and-coming stable versions. And the good news is, though, I haven't received any of these new features, yay. But nonetheless, as always, we can head over to a couple of screenshots provided by Leo over on Twitter, who has received the new features, which will give us a general idea. Now, the first um, new feature is regarding citations. And citations is a feature that has been available now um, as an optional feature in Microsoft Edge for a good while now, which basically in a nutshell um, gives students and researchers a better way to manage and generate citations as they research online. And I have posted a couple of videos on citations previously, so if you want some more info, just do a search. Now the change regarding citations that's been spotted now is that instead of being an optional feature, citations is now an extension that is installed automatically. Um, in Edge Canary version 117, which is the latest preview version. And yeah, we can see in the screenshot provided, there's citations, and you can remove um, it from the Edge browser. You can show in toolbar, you can got all the other citation details and all the other options. And if we head to another screenshot, yeah, we can see that on and in the extensions page, it's actually been installed in some cases um, automatically and where it previously was an optional feature, you could toggle on and off in the appearance settings. So that's the first. Um, instead of being an optional feature, citations is now an extension. Now the next is regarding the uh, install app dialog and the install app menu. Now currently uh, in Microsoft Edge, if you want to install an app, so as an example, I've got Twitter or X. I don't really know what you call it these days, Twitter or X. But nonetheless, if you've got a web page open and you want to, uh, install that as a PWA, a progressive web app. This is what the install dialog currently looks like uh, in the stable version and some of the other preview versions um, of Microsoft Edge for Desktop. Now, if we head over to another screenshot, this is a couple of examples of new um, install app menus and dialogs where Microsoft now is testing several uh, descriptions for Edge's install app dialog and menu. So we could see a couple of changes rolling out and there's a couple being tested and um, which as mentioned I haven't received but nonetheless this will give us a general um, idea. So installing apps now could have a different menu with some different descriptions in the future. And then uh, the last one for the purpose of today's video. The sidebar has this feature to customize the sidebar as many of you would know. Uh, in the stable version and in the preview versions and in Edge Canary it looks a little bit different as to what we get in the stable version as I have posted previously where we get um, different categories for the different apps and productivity tools that you can add uh, to the sidebar. But nonetheless, um, the change now is that you can customize this pane. The customize pane now has a new section for chat plugins in Edge Canary version 117. So if we head over to that screenshot, yeah, we can see in the GIF provided that we have this apps and sites and now we get this chat plugins where um, if you click, uh, click on it, it'll give you access to your plugins. But at this stage though, it looks like it's very early days and uh, there is no plugins available because this is obviously a feature that Microsoft is still gonna make available uh, in the sidebar. Uh, for your Bing chat and those plugins. So just to give you an idea, you get your apps and sites and then you'll have this other link. If you click on that, you'll be able to access your different plugins. So that's just a couple uh, chat plugins now and being tested, although very early days uh, in um, Edge Canary. Then we get those different installation um, dialogues for different apps. And then as mentioned, the citations now is being installed automatically um, as an extension where previously it was an optional feature that could be enabled using appearance. And that's just a short video just to collate some new features that Microsoft is testing and could possibly be rolling out in up and coming stable versions. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.